<clears throat> Happy Mother's Day, everybody. I am Dollar Dr. Jennifer, world's best cat mom. <laughs> so we are here today with a what sold video and also to let you guys know if I actually met my goal for the week, which was... <laughs> to pay for my season tickets to the Broadway plays I go to here in Charlotte. And um, so I'm going to do what sold first, and then I will let you know if I made my goal or not. Uh, the cost of the tickets for the year, uh, this is for next season, were $459.80, $459.80. Uh, these are the cheap tickets. So it's eight shows. And then you have the opportunity to switch in and out of shows if you want something different. And I do pay for ticket protection as well. So if there's like a winter storm or if like the last last year, one of the ones um, I ended up having COVID during, so I couldn't go, uh, they, they re refund your money then for that. But it's an extra like $24 or something for the year, which isn't that bad. So anyway, here we are. Um, I did have mostly Poshmark sales, but I did have one Mercari sale, shockingly enough. So pretty excited about that because it was actually a pretty good one. And let's get into it. Sharing my screen. <laughs> uh, let's see. Our first sale was um, these Talbots Francesca Tassel Driving Suede Loafers, size 9 medium. They were really cute, and they looked, like, brand new. Uh, they did sell for just $20, which I was kind of upset about. I ended up making $15.20 on them. They did take 11 months to sell, so I was in the, you know, mindset of just get rid of them. So that's why I accepted the $20 offer. Uh, she actually got them and they did not fit. So she actually reposhed them. And so they are now in her closet and she has them listed for 35. So I hope she sells them and gets her money back. But um, let me see. So the cute little tassel on the front. And then the, like, this is what makes it a driving shoe. It has like that. It comes up on the back. And hard to see on some of these in this at least for me but they look like they have no wear on them so anyway that was our first sale for the last two weeks get back to where i gotta be they're really cute shoes actually if they had been my size i might have thought about keeping them So our next sale was an interesting one. It was a bins find. Hi. Remy just joined us. Um, it was a Vineyard Vines custom collection, Washington and Lee University Republican silk tie. So it was like a silk tie. I guess Vineyard Vines like made custom for Washington and Lee University, but this was on it. It's from 2012. They had a Republican mock convention there. I was like, I'm sure someone will want this. And they did. Um, they purchased it for $20. And I ended up making $15.39. And it sold within a couple months. So not too bad. Um, I'll take $15 for a tie that weighs literally nothing from the bins. So, and uh, I have been starting to list some of my ties. <laughs> I have so many <laughs> that it's going to take a while. <laughs> Our next sale was something I've had forever as well. It was this Paper Moon Green Floral Blouse Tulip Hem, size large. This is like from way back when I did, um, my friend and I did like the bins challenge, like if we could make a certain amount in a certain amount of time and then we didn't do it. So this was um, a year and a half ago. <laughs> Because that's how long it took to sell this. 
Uh, it ended up selling for $16 with a shipping discount. I made $10.48 on it. And I was just happy to see it leave my house. Uh, I am a little bit surprised because most of the Paper Moon, the brand Paper Moon um, stuff does actually pretty well for me. Uh, I've sold like cover-ups and some other stuff by them. Some like little cardigan type things. So I am surprised this took so long. Uh, I think it had some interest a couple times and then it just never sold. So again, happy for the sale and for it to be gone. Paper Moon. I have no idea where who makes or who does Paper Moon, honestly, but um, I see it quite a bit in the bins and they do have really cute stuff. Um, I can see if I can pull up some other things that I've sold from them really quickly. Let's see. I'm just going to my closet. I'm going to search by brand. So... I'm going to share this with you because you asked, kind of asked about it, kind of didn't, but you know, we're going to, you're going to learn something anyway. <laughs> so these are four items that I've sold from Paper Moon. Um, the knit floral dress, that one was actually a stitch fix. So that one actually sold a little bit higher at $30. And I had like a kimono semi-sheer wrap. It sold for $12. Uh, mesh cover-up sold for $14. And then this shirt sold for $16. I mean, it's not like huge money, but they are really cute pieces. So I think um, it's, you know, if it's like a bins pickup where you're not paying too much, um, then, I mean, I would grab it. I, I really like... I really like, um, I really like some of their stuff. So anyway, <laughs> uh, let's see our next sale. This is actually from my, so I've been selling a ton of stuff from my own closet. Cause I did a huge closet clean out of my own. Um, a friend of mine helped me out. She like washed like everything in my closet because it's been sitting in there for a couple years with COVID. And every time I put on something, I would give myself an allergy attack because of the dust. So she literally took all the stuff to her house and washed it. And then we've been going through all of it and reorganizing my closet. So, um, I'm getting rid of like a ton of stuff. I think I've already donated like a garbage bag and a half of things. And then I have a garbage bag full that I still need to list. But this was one of the items. Um, it was just a really fun Scrub Star black green cactus scrub top, size 3XL. It had a mock wrap um, look. And I think the like the design was looking sharp because <laughs> they're cacti. <laughs> anyway, this sold for $12. Um, I didn't... The stuff I sold from my own closet, since I did pay for it, I did not take any profits on it unless I was making more than I sold it for, which I'm not. So this actually do did sell really quickly, though. It only took like one to two weeks. I do have one other one listed. It's like a dog grooming one. It has like little dogs and salon chairs. <laughs> that one still hasn't sold, but I was happy to see this one go really quickly. Yes. She is a very good friend and she is helping me organize all of my Poshmark stuff too. And she's actually also going to help me with my yard sale in a couple of weeks. <laughs> and I do need to get organized for that too, because I am going to try and get rid of some inven like really old inventory um, during that. So that'll be a good time, but I need to stay organized so I don't like lose what's selling and all that stuff during the yard sale. Next sale was this John Deere tractor patch trucker baseball hat. One size. It sold for $14. It was adjustable in the back. It was actually branded um, John Deere on the inside and on the outside. And um, so like I said, it sold for $14. 
I ended up making $10.77 on it and it sold within like 10 months. Took a little bit of time, but hats, um, if I can make 10 bucks on a hat, uh, that hat, honestly, I think it was from a fill a bag sale. So it only cost me 28 cents. So I am super okay with that flip. <laughs> I think I did put Groomer in the title, if I remember correctly. Um, I know it's in the description if it's not in the title, but yeah. I think I put like vet, dog, groomer, all that stuff in that title. Um, let's see. Our next sale was the Macari sale. I think I've only made like four total sales on Macari ever, but uh, this one was a good one. So I sold one of my Intimately Free People soft pink lace bandeau bras. Uh, these are all new with tags. I have, I had four, I have two left and I am so happy. She sent me an offer for 23, happily accepted that. And I ended up making $18.73 on this. It took nine months to sell. So I do have two more that I am hoping to sell soon. <laughs> we will see. Next, I do have another one of these as well. Um, these are BDG. They're fuchsia shiny leggings. They're nylon and spandex. And I had a size small and a size medium. The size small is the one that sold for $18. And I, oh, no, just kidding. It sold for $10. I don't know why it says 18 on there. Anyway, it sold for $10. <laughs> and I ended up making $6.24. It took a year. So I was just happy to get rid of it uh, at this point. So, and make a little bit of money on it. It only sold for 10, in case you didn't know. <laughs> All right, let's see. I actually thought this was going to do a lot better than it did. This was a Lou and Gray for Loft linen striped boxy shirt, size extra small. It only ended up selling for $16. I really thought I was going to get more. It was like a collab um, piece. But at the end, it took one year and three months. So I was really happy to just get the $16 and make $10.32 and see it leave my house. <laughs> because, yeah. This next sale is one of my favorites. It is from my... Uh, what's it called? The thread up DIY scrap fabric box that I got. Uh, I've sold two items now from that box and definitely, I think almost doubled my money. So I am debating about getting another one of those boxes because I do have some more credits to use, but this was a really cool, this was the Bollywood Indian bridal veil sequin embroidered teal color floral design. Um, it did sell for $40, which I think was the full price that I asked for it. This thing was like really pretty and, um, it's been accepted and everything. So I'm pretty excited about it. I do still have a skirt, uh, like kind of Bollywood skirt, but, um, so anyway, this sold for $40. I ended up making $29 and 83 cents on it. And it only took one to two months to sell, which is super amazing. I was very happy about that. And I'm glad that they're happy about it too. It's, it, I mean, I hope it is someone's wedding because it's so pretty. Yeah, I have really wanted to get a t-shirt box too, just because I do like t-shirts a lot. But... Um, I was talking to thrift generation, the other gen one, other Jennifer, and she said I should probably do the, the scrap because I think item wise, 
the stuff in there tends to have like a higher retail per item than obviously a t-shirt would. Uh, the other, the other thing I sold, which was I think in a past, um, it should have been in a past what sold video was like a red, uh, beaded dress. It was a fancy dress. I think like the retail was like two hundred something or something like that, but it had a lot of flaws. So, uh, I did take a little bit of time. Yeah, I mean, it really depends on the shirts. I don't try and do like super low balls. I don't know if I have any t-shirt sales. Actually, I might. Let me see. Um, I mean, it's not it's not next, but I might have like one or two shirts in here. Uh, okay, so next I sold this Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine PC game two disc set. This was um uh, let's see. Was this one vintage? Yeah, this is vintage from 1999. And it was, um, it had the two discs inside. And I did put on my listing that it was untested because I do not have a computer right now that can actually play games on. My computer doesn't have a CD drive on it. So I did put that in my listing that it was not tested, but there were no scratches noted, all that stuff. It did sell for 20, which was actually full price when I was asking for it. Um, and so I made $16, but I did buy a lot of like a big box of games that cost me way too much uh, with the shipping. So I didn't actually make anything on this. I'm doing kind of like a uh, the total price I paid for like the whole lot of games was $32.48. So I'm about halfway paid off now. I do still, um, I'm still in the negative about $16.48. So I was happy to get rid of this game. I do need to list a couple more. I was kind of on the fence about listing them because um, I just, they're not tested. So I'm a little that concerns me a little bit, but this person actually gave me like a really great rating and like raved about it. So that made me feel better. So maybe I'll list some more of them. <laughs> Which box are you asking about the thread up box or the game box? The game box I bought on auction on a YouTube channel. And I won't do that again. I bought it because there was a, a game in there that I wanted to try. And then I realized after I bought it, I don't have a CD-ROM. <laughs> so it was it was not a good buy. <laughs> All right. Next is another one from my own closet. It was this cute LuLaRoe Cassie rainbow diamond pattern high waist pencil skirt size large. Uh, it actually sold full price for 25, which I was super excited about. Again, I didn't take any profits on this because I bought it. <laughs> it did sell within a month of me listing it. And so I was super happy with that. And then let's see. Uh, I've been selling a ton of LuLaRoe from my own closet for good prices. I don't know if I just had amazing taste in patterns or what, but I've sold a lot of good stuff recently, uh, LuLaRoe. So it's making me rethink not picking up LuLaRoe, like especially the styles. I think of the, some of the styles that I've listed are styles they're not making anymore. And so people might be still looking for them, but they're not able to buy them retail anymore. I don't know. I don't know if that's what it is or if I just have really good taste. <laughs> Next was something I got for free from my friend. They're a pair of Banana Republic factory skinny sculpt petite jeans size 30 slash to 10 petite medium wash. They sold for $23, so I ended up making $16.68, and they sold within about a month of me listing them. 
I was actually surprised they did as well as they did, which, you know, like uh, sometimes with like these things that like from the Dana Republic loft stuff, I'm like wondering if it's a fluke or if it's just a certain specific thing that people are looking for. I never quite know. Yeah, that's true. It's just, well, now searching in Poshmark is such a pain in the buttocks. <laughs> it's so hard to do comps now with the way, the new way it's going. Next sale was this Hylar Ruffle Bottom Tankini Top Tropical Floral, size 22. It was um, new with tags. It was really pretty. And it sold for $22 with a shipping discount. So I ended up making $15.44. And it took about a couple months for this to sell. So not too bad. It was really pretty. I would definitely pick it up again just because, well, one, partly because it was new with tags. So if it's swimwear and it's new with tags, I'm probably going to pick it up. If it's like a bins find. I have an eBay. There are 26 items for sale right now on my eBay. <laughs> that is one of my goals is to cross list, especially like really light stuff, like heavy weight wise, very light stuff. So I am always scared about getting um, screwed over on shipping on there. Uh, that is my biggest thing. But I know I do need to cross list more. <laughs> That is, that is a future goal once I get through this giant uh, death pile I have here. <laughs> it's also harder for me to keep track of different things, like if it's on multiple platforms. <laughs> I don't offer returns. Next is something else I've had forever. It's this Fashion Nova hot pink suspender bike short, size small. It sold for $11. Uh, I ended up making $5.57, which I was okay with because I had it for a year and four months. So I was like, bye-bye, out the door. <laughs> and this is what it looks like on a person, but it's the green color. But yeah, so, and they were super excited about them. So I hope they enjoy them. And have a hot girl summer. <laughs> oh gosh. Next is something I heard about from Oh my gosh, Jack and Ryan so long ago. It was this Target 100% wool wide brim floppy hat in a burgundy. It's hard to see the color, but it's like a burgundy color. Um, they were like raving about these at one point and this took forever to sell. It finally sold for $16. Uh, I ended up making $12.26 on it, but it did take 10 months to sell. So I don't know. I do love a good hat, but... I thought that would sell a lot faster than it did. <laughs> Are you talking about like the, the cardboardy type flat rate envelopes? Yeah. I mean, sometimes I do comp on there as well. Um, I don't know. It's more of just time for me because I'm trying to get everything on Poshmark. And I'm not thrifting right now. I'm in the middle of my four-part thrift haul journey from Orlando. Uh, I have filmed all the parts now. And so I am just trying to get stuff edited and then listed. And I also have death pile from before that, like way before that. So
and I have my own stuff too. So this is also from my own closet. This was an old navy white halter terry cloth dress or cover up size extra large. This actually interestingly went to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Uh, it sold for $10 um, on an offer, which I accepted. Again, I didn't take a profit because it's something I bought. And um, it sold within a couple weeks. So I was pretty happy with that. It was just like kind of a really soft, like towel type material. So hopefully they have fun on the beach in Puerto Rico. Uh, next was Ashley Stewart. Uh, it was a yellow brown snakeskin design maxi skirt. It had a slit. It was a size 16. Uh, the material itself did not feel that great. You know, it was like a, a not great polyester. It was a very thin. Um, someone sent me an offer. I think it was for 10. I, and I countered it. And they wouldn't go above 12. So I finally was like, do you want to keep this skirt? for another three months and maybe get a couple dollars more or do you want to just sell it now and I decided just to sell it now so I got twelve dollars for it I ended up making eight dollars and forty cents and it did sell within a week of me listing it so I wasn't mad about it because I did get some money pretty quickly for it and it wasn't like a super um quality like material so, and they, I think she did give me a five-star rating though. So I was happy with that. It was, it was a cool pattern, which is why I picked it up. An interesting color palette as well. See, I don't charge that much. Like for the stuff that's really light, I think like my eBay listings have $5.99 shipping. Um, because I think most of the time I can get it if I get it in a poly mailer, it's like if it's if it's just like a t-shirt or something, it's only about like four something usually. But that's why I say I want to list the lighter stuff because I know the shipping a little bit better for that. Although now that I know the, the bag in the box stuff, um, shipping in general is a lot cheaper if, when I use pirate ship. So, and I do use pirate ship pretty much for all eBay stuff and all stuff off off whatever, off Poshmark, off eBay, off Macari, like direct sales. I use, I use that. And I did, um, I did sell seven items on Facebook on an inven a Poshmark inventory page this week. And I think, um, the most expensive one was like $9 and that was for five items. And one of the items was a blazer. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, I have problems though with like, I don't know, I get a lot of low ball offers on eBay. And so I do try and keep my actual shipping price where I know I won't make, where I know I won't lose money on shipping. <laughs> I sold a lot on eBay in the past when it was just stuff around my house, but I haven't done as much like reselling wise. Uh, so this next item, House of CB London black bodycon sequin beaded cocktail dress, size small, this is actually something my sister-in-law gave me when I was in Orlando. She gave me a bunch of stuff that she was just going to donate. And um, it was really pretty, but it did have a lot of flaws. There were a lot of um, loose threads. And I think there's a video somewhere. 
um, and beads and you can see here like beads that were loose it did it was a it was a very expensive dress but it did uh, actually still end up selling for $65 which I was super excited about and um, I ended up making $52 on this dress that I got for free and it sold within about a week of me listing it so CB House of CB uh, London might be something to look out for if you're in the thrift. Um, yeah, because that I'll take that every day, all day, every day. <laughs> it wasn't something I'd heard of before. I mean, that is true as well. I've had a couple this week where I was like, it was like a $60 item and they're like, will you take 10? Um, no, I won't. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm willing to negotiate, but I mean, come on. You really have to like not be stupid. Um, I so I did sell this Jägermeister white semi-fitted, semi-sheer tank top size large. It was a very fitted large though, uh, for $12. And I do enjoy like Jägermeister. Definitely. If you see this symbol, that's Jägermeister. Um, it does seem to have a following and this took a little bit longer to sell than the last thing I had. This is the other, you can, that's like a Jägermeister logo. Let's see. I ended up making $8.48 on this, and it sold within five months. I don't remember. The last thing I think I had was a hat, if I remember correctly, and that sold really fast. Uh, there are certain alcohols and stuff that definitely people look for um, the clothing and whatnot and wear it. So this is one of them. Uh, Monster Energy Drink is another one I'll pretty much always pick up. And so, yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Our next sale was Lauren Ralph Lauren a Paisley Floral Halter Bikini Top, size 10. It had like this metal rectangle in the middle um, of the boobs. <laughs> it sold for $14. And let's see, hold on. I'm out of order here. Uh, I am making $8 and 60 cents. It sold within a couple months of listing. I've been slowing down on, I mean, I've obviously you've seen a couple bathing suit sales, but I've been slowing down a little bit. I do have some more stuff to list though. So we'll see if it picks up again when people start going on vacation, maybe in the summer. But um, I was just happy to get rid of it. That's kind of my mantra lately, get rid of it. I am going to be putting out a ton of stuff at my yard sale, so. And next is, is another thing I had forever. <laughs> it's a Lyrella vintage metal mesh purse with a metal strap. It did finally sell for $28, which I was pretty happy with. Uh, I ended up making $19.88 on it, but it did take a year to sell. So I wasn't super happy about that. But it was um, this cool, like, mesh, metal, slinky uh, fabric. It did have, like, a couple little things here and there that were wrong. But it was in pretty good condition, and it went to New York. So... I think it went to Queens, if I'm not mistaken. So someone's going to be rocking that somewhere. Uh, next sale was another one I was happy about. It was the Michael Michael Kors studded Y2K cuff jeans, size 8. They were really cool looking. Um, someone, I think, sent me an offer for 27 is that right? Yeah. Someone sent me an offer for 27 and I accepted it. 
I ended up making $20.99 on these. They did take nine months to sell, though. Um, they were really cool. They had these really cool studs all around the waist. And then these cuffs were actually, like, they were stitched that way. They had studs here. They had studs around the pockets. <laughs> I just thought they were really neat when I saw them. They were a bins pickup, so... Um, $27 was a good flip for me for that. I liked those a lot. <laughs> exactly. Uh, next is another thing I was really happy to get rid of. <laughs> there are these Madewell red denim jean cutoff shorts, size 25. I actually bought these last year. In Wisconsin, if you remember my fun haul from the hotel room. Um, so I was, they took a year to sell. Uh, they did sell for 15. I ended up making $11.35. I don't know. Madewell and I are kind of like at each other's throats and then we like each other and then we hate each other. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them anymore. But they were just like basic red jean shorts. So. Next one was Harry Potter for the win. <laughs> I sold a Wizarding World of Harry Potter Universal Studios Slytherin Raglan t-shirt. Um, this sold full price. I only had it listed for 15 because there were some spots on the back. Um, it was a size extra small. And it was actually from Universal Studios. So someone bought this in park. I don't remember. I did wash it. To try and get some of the spots out. But I think there was still. Yeah there's still like a little bit of something on the back. And so I did just close that obviously as you can see here. It did still sell for $15. And let's see. I ended up making $11.43 on this t-shirt. And it took over three months to sell. I didn't have an exact date on my thing. I've been really slack on doing that. Um, but it was, it was over three months, but again, it sold full price. So he actually paid $15 plus the seven, whatever shipping. So that actually was quite an expensive shirt with the stain. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, I do like colored stuff as well and they do tend to sit but I still pick them up because I like them <laughs> it's a it's a bad bad habit and welcome hello Bethel and next was a cacique blue floral lightly lined balconette bra size 34g this I actually picked up at a regular thrift store, so I did, quote, unquote, pay up for it. Um, it was, it did sell for $28, which I was very excited about. I ended up making $17.62, and it sold within five months. Um, I would have liked it to have sold a little bit quicker than that, but five months isn't horrible. I was happy to get rid of it. I do have so many bras right now for sale. I kind of went a little crazy, but I went a little bra crazy. Um, so our next sale was actually another thing from quote unquote my closet. Uh, it was something I got in an Ipsy bag. It was item beauty brow chow ultra fine brow definer in warm blonde. Um, it was obviously still new with tags and didn't use it. It's not something I would really use. So I was going through all my stuff and I've listed a bunch of stuff from my Ipsy bags. I probably have some more stuff to list, but I listed like four items the other day. This actually sold full price for $15, which I was super thrilled about. Um, and so I ended up, I didn't take a, a, again, I didn't take a profit on this because the Ipsy bag is more than it sold for. So but it did sell two days after listing it. So it was actually a good one. Um, I did see quite a few listed on Poshmark, but I did not see very many in this color. 
So the warm blonde seemed to be a little bit less available. I don't know if that helped, but I, or I just got lucky that someone was looking right when I listed it. <laughs> so, and it's funny because I had an offer to someone else on it. I think it was like a 10% off offer and then someone else came and bought it full price. So I love it when that happens. That's my favorite. <laughs> My favorite. All right. So next um, was another thing from my own closet. It was a LuLaRoe Amy button down dolman cropped shirt, black size 3XL. It actually sold full price for $25, which I was super thrilled about. And um, it was actually missing a button even, which I put in the listing, of course. Uh, let's see. Missing top button at collar. And then it had also some a uh, little bit of, I want to say a little bit of wash wear. It just had a little bit of fading to it, but it's still sold for $25. These do retail. Oh, they're expensive. I was like super into them for a hot minute. I've got like four listed, I think, in my closet right now. Um, Yeah, they retail for $46. So again, I didn't take a profit on this, but I was happy to get some money back from that. Yep. <laughs> Next is just a cute little sale. It was a Sleep Sense dog quarter button front sleep shirt, size medium. Uh, I think someone sent me an offer for $10. Let's see. Yeah, someone sent me an offer for $10, which I accepted. I ended up making $6.40. It did take four to six months to sell. So was it a great pickup? Not really, but it was really cute. And it had dogs all over it and little like dog sayings. So would I pick it up again? There's there's definitely a little chance that I would. <laughs> the next sale I was super thrilled about. This is actually from my birthday road trip to the coast. I went to the Salvation Army there and I bought these Four Fathers denim black embroidered jean shorts. I thought they were super cool. The fronts were kind of boring, but then this was the back and um, it had like this little rainbow tag at the top and then there's really cool embroidery on the back pockets. Really thought it was awesome. No one else did. <laughs> I finally sold them for $16 yesterday and um, I was just so happy to get rid of them. I only ended up making $7.08 on them and they took 10 months to sell. I did pay up for them. I paid $4 for them, which is a lot for me if you know me. And so just to get that money back, I was super happy about at that point. <laughs> Um, I did sell a pair of Lily Pulitzer shorts, which I'm not including in this because I'm a little bit wary about the sale still. Um, I don't know if you guys know, there is a new messaging feature in Poshmark, like in the sales site, like so people, you can actually privately message with someone about something. And after that sold, I think like 20 minutes after or an hour after I sold the shorts, um, she messaged me and she's like, we've moved and I need you to send it to a new address. And uh, so um, I was like, okay, well, you need to change your address on the order and then they'll send me a new label. And I even went into Poshmark and like print or uh, copy and pasted like their directions on how to do it and put it in the, the messaging system. And I have not heard back from her. And that was yesterday is when she messaged me. So I'm giving her till tomorrow. Um, and then I'm going to probably get Poshmark involved because in that messaging system, you can actually involve Poshmark support. And so just see if they want me to send it to the address that's already on the label or if I should just cancel the order, which I'll be really sad about because she did buy them for $30. And so it would have been a really good profit for me. Um, so I'm not sure what's going to happen if I don't get an answer from her because I haven't gotten a new label yet because so I know she hasn't changed her address. So I don't know. 
don't know. So that's not in this what's old video. Maybe it'll be in the next one. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so this morning is our last sale for this what's sold. And so this was another really good one. This was a Finn and Ryan Lancia Campion CJJ Motorsports button down bowling type shirt size extra large. I like these weird men's shirts, ones that are button ups that have like a crazy pattern. Um, like this is motorsports, so you know someone is going to be into it, uh, even though I wasn't exactly sure what it meant. Uh, this is also like a bowling shirt type, like look to it. Uh, this is the the brand name, Finn Ryan. And um, I would definitely pick these up. There's not a lot of comps on these. They are, I think, custom made shirts from what I can see from their website. I don't, I think they're like custom made for whatever... I guess the event is, I'm not sure exactly hundred percent. They don't have like prices on their website or anything. So I did pick this up based on style and I knew someone was going to like it. I did price it high. I did have it priced at $65. And this morning someone sent me an offer for 40 and I said, absolutely. And I ended up making $31 and 42 cents on this shirt in six months. And it's a little bit long time, but some of these more unique items, it is going to take a little bit longer. But if I can get a higher um, profit margin, then I am a little bit okay with it. <laughs> so that was a really cool find. And even on the back, it had like the CJJ Motorsports and stuff. So all day, every day, I love weird men's shirts. <laughs> uh, so... Thank you. It was, I really like that shirt and I'll be really happy that it's, well, it's going to be sent out tomorrow and I'm hoping it'll be sent out at the same time as the Lily Pulitzer shorts, but we'll see. So that is everything that's sold. So if you made it this far, we will let you know, did I meet my goal of profiting $459 and 80 cents this week so far? No, I sure didn't. <laughs> Partly because all the stuff that I sold that really didn't get a profit from because it was stuff from my own closet. Um, I did end up profiting uh, $243.69. And so I still need to make another $216.11. I will be under $200 if those Lily Pulitzer shorts sell, but... Uh, I did not quite make my goal. <laughs> so I do have the rest of today, though, technically to, to finish. So fingers crossed that we make some sales today. I am trying to list some stuff today. So hopefully that will boost boost sales. But um, so, yeah, that was disappointing. I know you waited till the end. <laughs> Thank you, couple people, for coming. <laughs> And if you're watching it on replay, I hope you guys are having a great Mother's Day um, and family time. I am just hanging out with my animals today. Yeah, that's what I got going on. So I will see you next time. Oh, gosh, closet clear out. Don't even get me started on that. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Well, that's nice. That'll be nice to go swimming. Have a great one. I will see you next week. I will have part three, which is the women's um, clothing portion of the of the giant Goodwill outlet Orlando Hall coming out next week. It'll be probably Thursday. Um, and then... The Monday after that will be the final one, which is the kids' clothing. I have already, spoiler alert, I have already sold three items from the kids' stuff at Buy, Sell, Trade. Did I make a ton? No, but I've made a little bit of money back. So 
Anyway, I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Remember to help control the pet population and have your pets spayed or neutered. Bye, guys.